I think it's extremely important that you understand that, the, that you claim Christianity, but it's got a history uh, 2,000 years long, and, and there are patterns in there. And I don't care how free you are, you're not going to escape part of the patterns. What Luther had, of course, come into was 500 years of Roman or, or Catholic, whatever you call it, uh, Christianity, in which the Pope and the Curia and the Magisterium around him had been the source of authority. Uh, and they obviously had become corrupt, and there was no, no question the thing had to go away. So uh, it wasn't like Luther was a rocket scientist, it was just that obvious. So the minute he says, no more Pope, no more Magisterium, no more Curia, then there's this great silence. So where now? Where are the rules? You know, panic. Uh, you know, so what are we going to do? Uh, and he, he looks around as in conjunction with the other people. Obviously, it's wrong to blame Luther, but there was a whole coterie of them. Uh, but he looks around and he says, all right, then only the scripture. It's the Holy Writ. Sola Scriptura, Scriptura Sola is Latin for only the scripture and the scripture only. What had been corrupted by the church had been the scriptures in many ways. There, there had been misinterpretation of it. There had been uh, lifting out sections to prove things that the papacy wanted proved. There had been absolute corruption of it, just misquoting deliberately. So, but, so he says, now we've got the book. And the book is going to be our pastor. It's going to be our authority. It's going to be our director, our teacher, the whole nine yards. Now, that's a lot to ask of a book. Okay, but this is a divine book. This is, this is the inspired book. Sola Scriptura held for about 350 years, uh, simply because, first of all, we had to educate people so they could learn to read the thing, because when Martin Luther came along, nobody, very few people could read. So it took us 120 years to teach everybody to read. After we taught everybody to read, then we found out that people read things, they come to vastly different conclusions about the same thing. Worldwide, there are 39,700 and something different Protestant denominations that are theologically, describably different. That's absurd. That's just really basically absurd. And one of the problems with Sola Scriptura is it's going to lead to that because it assumes that God's truth can be reduced to man's perception or to humanity's perception. It can't be. For 500 years, the basis of authority has been Sola Scriptura, Scriptura Sola, and it's not anymore. And when you say that to folk, it's very threatening. It's very, very threatening. So number one, we need to know why it's threatening and to be appreciative of the fact that it is threatening. And then number two, we need to look at what were the limitations of it the minute it was formulated as a doctrine. And number three, where now is our authority? Uh, the minute you say that's not going to be the whole authority, then you open up the question, so where is our authority?